Hi everyone! Today I'm going to share with you two recipes for bread pizza. I'm using a round French loaf to make these bread pizzas, but you could use any bread that you have on hand, as long as it's not moldy. If it's a little bit stale, you can give it a new lease of life by toasting it. Making bread pizza at home means it's very customizable. You can use ingredients that you have on hand or add ingredients that you personally prefer. We're going to do a ham and cheese with sausage, bread pizza first, followed by a roasted chicken one. For this recipe, you don't have to fire up the stove. It's just a lot of slicing and dicing. There's no hard and fast rule. It's really up to you if you like it to be shredded thinly for the ham or if you like to slice it into thicker slices. It really depends on what you like. If you have any leftover tomatoes lying about the fridge, you can use them as well. I like to add in a little bit of black olives because it really gives it that pizza look, doesn't it? A quick hack is to use pizza sauce and that really gives it that pizza flavour. But if you don't have it, you can always use tomato ketchup as well. Ready to use shredded cheese is a very convenient solution. Ideally, use mozzarella if you want that pull apart cheesy pizza effect. Well, I couldn't find it at my regular supermarket, so I used a Mexican mix of organic mixed shredded cheese. That did fine as well. If you have an oven, you're going to bake this at 220 degrees Celsius for just 10 minutes on the lower shelf or the middle shelf. It really depends on your oven. If you don't have an oven, an oven toaster will do fine. Just toast it until the ingredients for the topping are cooked. Bread pizza is also another way to use up any roasted chicken that you have left over lying about the fridge. For a different sort of flavour, we're using Japanese mayonnaise and bonito flakes. Again, half the French loaf lengthwise. Then it's time to pull apart that chicken leg and debone it. And shred the meat. I'm just cutting the skin here because, well, it's not very healthy. For this version of bread pizza, we're using cheese as the base layer to help hold the topping to the bread. I'm using 60 grams of shredded cheese for this recipe, but you can always vary the amount depending on how much cheese you want. If you want your pizza really cheesy, feel free to add more. Place the shredded chicken on top of the cheese, followed by a little dollop of Japanese mayonnaise, a little bit more cheese, and then it's on with the mushroom and into the oven for 10 minutes at 220 degrees Celsius. Remove it from the oven, then more of that luscious Japanese mayonnaise followed by a topping of bonito flakes. And there you have it, the roasted chicken bread pizza. Now it's time to just bite into that bread pizza. Can you hear the crunch? Bread pizza makes for a very convenient snack. And it can also be a meal on a weekday, work from home day, or a lazy weekend brunch if you don't feel like cooking up something too complicated. Hope you enjoyed these two little recipes and thank you for watching. See you again next time. Happy cooking!